is absolutely not necessary to understand aspect ratio to succeed in this course. However, I would be remiss if I did not at least give you the quick and dirty. So, let's jump right in from the last lecture. When asking the question of what size jump rings you need, the answer is always aspect ratio. The term aspect ratio also has applications in electronics and aeronautics, but for the purposes of chain mail, aspect ratio is the relationship between the thickness of the wire and the space inside the ring. Let me briefly demonstrate what this means. Each weave generally has an ideal aspect ratio number. For example, this is a strip of European 4-in-1, which has an ideal aspect ratio of around 4. This piece uses 4 mm 22 gauge rings, which have an aspect ratio of 4.3. This is another strip of European 4-in-1, but it's made out of 10 mm 14 gauge rings, which have an aspect ratio of 4.1. Even though the aspect ratios are nearly identical, 4.3 and 4.1, you can see very clearly that the ring size, the wire thickness, and the end result are wildly different. The thing that remains the same is the relationship between the thickness of the wire and the space inside the ring. This is an example of how aspect ratio can be an extremely valuable tool. Here's a rule of thumb. The higher the aspect ratio number, the more space exists inside the ring. Or if you prefer, a higher aspect ratio number means you can fit all kinds of stuff including the kitchen sink, the microwave, and part of the refrigerator inside the ring. A lower aspect ratio number means you can't fit much into that tight squeeze and good luck trying. The higher the aspect ratio, the looser the chainmail weave. The lower the aspect ratio, the tighter the chainmail weave. This will matter to you in the not too distant future when you're a seasoned chainmailer. So will this formula. Aspect ratio equals inner ring diameter divided by wire diameter. But lucky for you, that's all you need to know for now. I've included a printable aspect ratio chart that highlights all the ring sizes used in this course. There is also a downloadable aspect ratio calculator that I've created for your use should you feel the need. If you are interested in learning more about this topic, keep your eyes peeled for my course that focuses solely on aspect ratio. Go, go, go!